salutations, my friends. Thank you for coming back to Mr. Teddy's Pre-K. Today, we're going to do a book walk through this book. It's a very, very famous book written by Eric Carle. It's called The Very Busy Spider. On the front cover, I see a very colorful spider. Do you see it? Hey, how many legs does a spider have? Do you know? Let's count together. Get your counting finger ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A spider has eight legs. Let's see what this very busy spider does. Are you ready? All righty. It says one day a wind blew a little spider across the field and she began to have a thin silky thread come from her body. Do you see that little gray line right there? That spider has begun to make a web and she uses a substance out of her own body to make the little threads of her web. Wow. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? Oh, we've got a new character. We've got a big brown horse. And she wants to know, would the spider like to go on a ride? But guess what? It says the spider didn't answer. She was too busy spinning her web. Let's watch on the illustration and see if her web changes on each page. Right now, she's got a line across, two diagonal lines, and one line up and down or vertical. You see it? All right, next page. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She's still busy making her web. That's right. And look, I see some new lines. Do you see how her web is getting bigger? Hmm. Next, I see a sheep. And the sheep said, bah, bah, Want to go running in the meadow? What do you think the spider said? The words tell me that she didn't say anything. She kept on spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? Because goats love to jump on rocks. And the spider, you guessed it. She didn't say anything. She kept on spinning. Now let's look at her web up close. Does she have more lines now? Yes, her, her web is getting bigger. Oink, oink, said a pig. You want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She's still busy spinning that web. Now, if you look very closely, you see she's starting to make some threads in a circular pattern. Do you see that circle right in the middle? So she's made a bunch of straight lines. Now she went back to the middle and she's making circles. Wow. Woof, woof, said the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. You're right. Now look at her web. Look at all those circles or spirals in the middle of her web. Wow. I want to ask you something. Why do you think the spider is creating this web? Do you know? Hmm. Next page, I see a black cat. And the cat says, meow, meow, want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She's still busy. That's right, spinning her web. Look at all that. That's a lot of work. Wow. Quack, quack, said a duck. Want to go for a swim? Ducks love water, right? But nope, spider didn't say anything. She's still busy 
creating her web. Cock a doodle doo, said the rooster. Do you see the rooster? Want to catch a pesty fly? Uh oh, let's check this out. There's the rooster. And it looks like it's trying to catch that little gray fly. Do you see it? The spider, it says, caught that fly in her web. Just like that. Snap, snap. Look. So there's the rooster with the fly. But the fly kept going and it got, boom. It got stuck in the spider's web. That's why spiders create webs, my friends. Their little silky threads are very sticky. So if an insect is flying around, poop, it's gonna get stuck. And spiders, they eat insects. Who, who, said an owl, who built this beautiful web? Now look at this book. It's not daytime anymore. Nighttime. I know that because I see stars. But guess what, guys? The little fly is gone and the spider is asleep. Do you see her? She worked all day creating that web so that she could get an insect to eat because that's what spiders do. I know sometimes spiders can be kind of creepy to look at, right? But they're the good guys. They eat insects. That way we don't have too many insects in our world. I love this book, The Very Busy Spider. You might know a little poem or song about a spider. It's called the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Have you heard of that? Itsy Bitsy means small. Let's do that little poem together. Get your fingers out. We did this a couple weeks ago. Do you remember? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now, let's do the medium-sized spider. Do you remember? We talked about this a couple of videos ago. Here's a small spider, or itsy-bitsy. Here's a medium-sized, kind of in the middle. And here's a very large spider. Let's do a little song for this guy, the medium-sized spider. So we're not going to go like this. We're going to bring our hands out a little bit. Ready? The medium-sized spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the medium-sized spider went up the spout again. So, we did a little song about the smallest spider and the medium size. Now it's time to do a little song about this guy, the biggest spider. So, get your arms out. You've got to make big, big motions and use a big voice. Ready? The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. Good job, friends. Good job listening today to our book. Good job remembering the Itsy Bitsy Spider song and the medium-sized spider, and the great, big, huge, enormous spider. Good job, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope that you and the person that takes care of you read a really, really good book today. Bye, my friends.